In this video, we're going to talk all about the dock in watchOS 3. In watchOS 3, pressing the side button no longer brings up the friends carousel as it did on previous versions of watchOS, but it now brings up the dock, and that is a huge change to the way the Apple Watch works. And remember glances? Yeah, glances are a thing of the past in watchOS 3. In fact, swiping up from the bottom of the screen invokes Control Center now on watchOS 3. And in a future video, we'll talk more about Control Center on the Apple Watch and how it compares to the iOS Control Center. There's definitely some similarities, but a lot of differences as well. Now that's not to say that glances are completely gone because they've kind of been transitioned and sort of massaged into the dock itself. In fact, the dock contains snapshots of all of your favorite applications in a glanceable view so you can quickly look at the little app cards and determine what the status of the app is. Sounds similar to glances, right? But apps in the dock are backgrounded and can be woken up when selected in the dock. So let me show you what I mean here. I'm going to go ahead and start a timer here, and then I'm going to go ahead and exit back out to the watch face, and then I'm going to invoke the dock by pressing the side button like this. And you're going to see the timer continuing to count down even while the timer app is shrunk down inside the dock and you haven't actually opened up the app itself. So you can see it's still counting down right here. I can switch to another app. I can reopen the dock, swipe over, and that snapshot will unfreeze and continue counting down just like that. So watchOS 3 features background app refresh APIs that allow you to do things like this to be able to wake up snapshots right there inside the dock. And in fact, all of the apps inside the dock are in a suspended state, ready to launch quickly at any time. Now you can also open the dock from anywhere on Apple Watch. So right here from the watch face, press the side button, opens the dock. From the app carousel, press the side button, opens the dock. And of course, while in an app, I can press the side button and get back to the dock, which is a major advantage over glances, which were only accessible from the watch face. Now you can access the dock from anywhere and quickly access all of your favorite apps. Now let me show you how to add and remove apps from the dock. So the first step is just to find the app that you wanna add. And I think I'm gonna add the Breathe app. So we tap that, wait for it to load up. And once it finishes loading, all you do is press the side button. And then you're gonna see the Breathe app go under Recents and it's automatically gonna ask you if you wanna keep it in the dock of course, you can scroll around here, but we do want to keep the Breathe app in the dock. So we're going to go back to that and just tap where it says keep in dock and that will add it to the dock. You can see the indicator dot below fill in indicating that this is a permanent app for the dock. All right. So what if you want to remove an app from the dock? Well, it's actually really easy to do. So you just invoke the dock interface again, find the app you wish to remove. We're going to remove Breathe. So you just swipe up on the application card and then tap the remove button, just like that. And it's gone. Simple, straightforward, to the point, easy to use interface. Now you can also scroll through the dock with both the digital crown like this. I kind of showed you that earlier, spoiled it for you. And of course you can also use your finger to swipe through. One downside of using the digital crown is that to actually select an application, you still have to tap the screen. So. I hope that Apple will make it so that you can just use hardware buttons to navigate and select apps in the dock. Now up to 10 apps can be added to the dock. And as you can see, I'm just going through adding apps really quickly. I sped things up a little bit so you can see there, but I've reached my threshold and you can see I can no longer add an app to the dock because I already have 10 there. So keeping dock is grayed out. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been an in-depth look at watchOS 3's dock. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.